Next up is Passport Bros. This one's more popular on the woke right, but conservative right does use it in talking points against feminism. Before we get into it, you're welcome to my army of armed soldiers where we talk about the deep truths people tend to miss. To join us, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of a Nigeria Take with Theo. And whilst you're at it, like and share this video. Obviously, they're running away. Women caused this. You cannot scream at men and say that they are the worst thing that ever happened to the entire world while still wanting a relationship with one of them. And you're not going to get it when you treat them that way. That's why why they are all leaving. Women in these other countries are raised to be more traditional. And in America, we're in the middle of a dumpster fire. See, the first problem with this take is she says women caused this. Yes, I know. There are a lot of problems with attitude towards men from Western women, but putting the blame on one gender sounds just as woke as feminists blaming the patriarchy for everything. It also underplays the role that men did play in the past and honestly are still playing today, which resulted in a lot of this current behavior from women. Sure, there's been a lot of brainwashing by the media and the government, but ask yourself, why did feminism become so appealing to women in the first place? Oh, I gotta think about this one. To better understand what I mean, let's put it in a modern context. Why do you think red pill logic is appealing to so many men online right now? Please, pause the video, rewind, and reflect on that. If you've answered my questions, you will understand this next point even better. I get it. It fits into the trendy narrative that modern women are difficult to deal with, which is mostly true, but conservative YouTube must be careful not to end up creating a cover for bare minimum effort men or toxic men that are simply not accountable. Men who believe that providing financially is all they should bring to a marriage. Watch this. I can cook, I can clean. Uh, see, this is why I came to Thailand, to find a traditional woman. See, in the United States, women don't cook and cook. All they do is complaint. And we don't got time for that. That's why I got my passport. On the surface, that doesn't look bad. He's just a guy who wants a clean home, a hot meal, and some peace. But as a Nigerian, I can tell you, this might well be another man who doesn't like to be challenged at all and has now found a woman who has low enough standards to not do that. I'm not saying it's the case here, but it's one possibility that is far more likely than the beauty right-wing YouTube often chooses to see. I've been going on and on about the men, but what about the women? I think that you can find higher quality women in other places. I think that we should learn from the women overseas instead of whining that they're leaving. Why don't we ask why they're leaving and maybe try to model some of the stuff. Still on the topic of low standards, as a non-Western woman myself, perhaps I can offer more of an insight into us, the much coveted foreign traditional woman. Last year, a friend of mine almost married a passport bro, but we found out he murdered two of his ex-girlfriends. However, before that, she had already caught him cheating multiple times and she was still willing to marry a serial cheat. See? Low standards. I wish I could say it was just a her thing, but I'd be lying. We're literally groomed to believe that men can do as they please with women. The most important thing is that he is providing. We tend to raise good wives and bad moms. Bad moms in the sense that that man-worshipping mentality sips into parenting, forming something you might know as a boy mom. These moms raise entitled sons who will make terrible husbands and boyfriends. Cooking and cleaning is great. Men do love a caring woman, but what lies behind the scenes? I have friends in Latin and Asian countries who claim that the pattern of our boys are raised compared with girls in their countries is just as dismal as mine, but I won't be speaking for them since I am not from there. I will tell you the truth about Africans, however. Many of these women see the men as a means to escape, and they will accept poor treatment from the passport bros if that is the price to pay. So, you're either ending up with a gold digger or a low self-worth woman who is not really willing to build her character. And believe it or not, once you're over the lure of cooking and cleaning, you will find that such a woman is not the best type of partner as she doesn't offer you much substance. Basically, Passport Bros is a potential matchup for low accountability men and desperate low self-worth women. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it's always the case though. There are a lot of good women and men, and sure, you could find true love. It's just, this is the side that right-wing YouTube fails to put forward because they place this traditional woman thing on a pedestal. Although, I don't really blame them for that because they're no longer surrounded by the trad wife lifestyle like I am. So it's easy to forget the flaws, most of which I haven't even mentioned in this video because I'd like to keep it short. My name is Dio, and thank you for watching.
guys like i always say i may be completely wrong but if you agree you disagree leave a comment below and i will see you on the next one Well, that